Praise the Most High God, brothers and sisters. I came before you guys today because I wanted to share a couple of visions with you guys that I had last year about involving the, the bombs that are going to be dropping soon. We don't know when, but we know they're coming because not only myself, but I've been looking at other videos where other saints have been, the Lord has shown them dreams and visions as well of bombs dropping. But I wanted to share my, my, my dream that the Lord gave me, a couple of them. And not only that, I wanted to share a scripture with you guys uh, that the Lord gave me a couple of days ago, Isaiah chapter 26. And I'm going to, I had a couple of verses highlighted. I'm going to go through those verses and I'm going to start off with Isaiah chapter 26, verse one. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Okay, you guys, I'm going to jump down to verse three. Okay. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. And this is verse four. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord, Jehovah is everlasting strength. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to jump down to verse nine. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. <laughs> Glory be to God. And I'm going to skip to verse 16. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. You guys, I'm going to skip down to the last couple of verses of the chapter. Verse 20 and 21. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You know, God has been showing us things. He has been revealing. He has been revealing things, not only in dreams and visions, but showing us having his word, to, you know, backing it up with his word. You know, so I felt led to share the, the dreams that I had last year, a couple of dreams, because I got this scripture the other day, Isaiah chapter 26. And I'm going to let you guys know, you know, the first dream that I had last year, I don't know where they the bombs were drop, dropping, but I know that it woke, woke me up out of my sleep and I was shaking. I was shaking. It shook me to my very core as if I felt the impact, but I saw the bombs dropping. I didn't know where they were dropping, but I jumped up out of my sleep and I was shaking. I was shaking like it hit me. I felt the impact and it just shook me to my core. So you guys, that was one. That was dream number one. Dream number two happened a couple of months after that. I was asleep and if I knew what a bomb shelter looked like, which I, I really don't, but if I could describe it, we were all in a bomb shelter. It was myself. It was familiar faces like in the city where I live. You know, you know how you can know somebody, but not, not know them, but know their face. You've seen them around town somewhere. So it was familiar faces, people that I didn't know, and then people that I did know. We were all in this shelter-like thing. And there were seats and then the, the bathrooms, they were not like bathrooms like that or stalls or anything. There were Skittle cans. And I remember it perfectly because I have my pet peeves and I was like, ooh, I don't want to go in that Skittle can and use that. It's nasty in there, you know, but that's neither here nor there. There were Skittle cans and you guys, all of a sudden, before the bombs got ready to drop, you know, we were gathered together, everybody, like gathered together. Nobody was roaming, going to the bathroom and walking around. Everybody was gathered together in one place and all of a sudden, you heard the bomb and then, bam, they were dropping. And we saw them. We wit we were witnessing these bombs dropping, but yet we were not being affected. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The bombs were dropping and we were in a protected, safe place. I don't know where and I don't know the destination of the bombs, but I did know. I can tell you that I saw the bombs dropping. I can tell you that I saw the bombs dropping. Glory be to God. But we were hidden. We were safe in the Lord. I don't know where he had us hid, but y'all, he had us hidden. So when his judgment comes upon land, brothers and sisters, be encouraged and know that the Lord will not, we will not be harmed. He will have us hidden. We will be hidden. Whether or not we'll be gone in the rapture or, or if he will hide us, I have, I don't know. 
I'm just sharing with you guys what he gave me. I'm just sharing with you guys. So I don't know if this will line up with somebody else's, what he's given somebody else out there, but this is what he's given me. Glory be to God. You know, he told us that we would, we would, we would be with one accord. We need to be with one accord. And I'm noticing that a lot of saints, a lot of brothers and sisters, we're having the same dreams or visions the Lord has given to all of us. Everything is, is, is being confirmed. So glory be to God, you know, hang in there. Don't grow weary. The Lord is coming back soon. But, you know, I thank God that, that, that he's long suffering and he's tearing because we have family members out there. You guys, we have children, we have brothers and sisters, we have mothers and fathers, you know, aunts and uncles and cousins and so on and so on that are not saved that have not come to Christ and glory be to God. He is long suffering and he's not willing that any should perish. He is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance. So let's keep on fighting this good fight of faith and going out and waking people up since we're woke. That is our job. That is our duty to wake up people and say, Jesus loves you. Do you know that, that, that he loves you so much that he died for you? He died on the cross. Do you know that we have to go out there and tell other people we don't have much time. We are to live every moment like it is our last you know the spirit led me yesterday and i was telling my youngest daughter you know telling her but you know it's funny how you know you can be preaching and, and and teaching the word of god but your children they won't receive anything from you but that's okay i know that god will bring them in i know that he will because he's given us a promise acts 238 he's given us a promise but glory be to god you know, saints, let's continue to pray for one another. You know, let's continue to pray for our family members and not just pray for them only and intercede, but let's continue to fight for them because they forgive them, Father, because they know not what they do. Glory to God. Hang in there. Go tell somebody today about Jesus. Go tell somebody because what is our lives? It is but a vapor. One moment we're here and the next minute we're gone. Glory be to God. Go tell somebody Jesus loves them. Shalom, saints. Hang in there.